34 minutes past the hour now. The House Speaker Nancy Pelosi downplaying the influence of her party's far left wing, making this comment in reference to Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez in London. We won this election. It wasn't in districts like mine or Alexandria's. However, wonder, I'm, I'm, she's a wonderful member of Congress. I think all of our colleagues will attest. But those are districts that are solidly Democratic. This glass of water would win with a D next to its name <laughs> in those districts. I wonder what Mikey Sherrill thinks about that. She's a Democrat from New Jersey, sits on the Armed Services Committee, and welcome here to America's Newsroom. Thanks Nice so to see you. You're a U.S. Navy pilot, a prosecutor in Newark, New Jersey. You make your home in Mo uh, Montclair, New Jersey. Thank so thank you for being here. What, what do you think of the, the constant questions about those in the freshman class? Well, it's certainly a very exciting class. We have one of the largest classes in the Democratic caucus since Watergate um, with a diverse array of opinions. And it's, it's a pretty exciting time to be there. And I'll tell you, I'm really excited about serving with all the new veterans and CIA officers in our caucus. Well, what about those on the far left that seem to get I probably most of the oxygen? I think what's incumbent upon a lot of us is to show our legislative agenda in Congress. So make sure that we're working for the American people. And in my district, that means health care, that means tax reform, that means infrastructure, um, really to work on families in our district. Do you think some of that message has been clouded so far? We had the 60 Minutes piece the other night when Leslie Stahl was asking Speaker Pelosi, well, what are you getting done? It's the first 100 days. What's getting done? How do you answer that? Well, I think we have, we've done a lot of exciting pieces of legislation that are really broad pieces of legislation. So things like uh, making sure that we are make, having more transparency in our election system, making sure that we have universal background checks for gun purchases with carve-outs for hunters and for um, prote personal protection. But then we've also worked on some of the smaller things that make people's lives better. So I put an amendment into a bill to make sure that people who've suffered from military sexual trauma have child care when they go to see their psychiatrist because too many times they weren't making appointments or they weren't keeping the appointments because of their children and we know what a problem suicides are in very, our veterans. Very community. important issue. It's tough to get the message out on that when so many others take up the attention. And I, I think you're yeah. aware of that. No, it's certainly difficult when you have um, sometimes a more nuanced position. It's hard to tweet about um, of supporting the Affordable Care Act and the many ways we need to support pre-existing conditions and the 10 essential benefits and bring health care costs down. And so sometimes it's hard when you don't have a sound bite to cut through. But I think it's critically important that we provide thoughtful bipartisan legislation because there are just so many things that the American people I'm, need to I'm see. wondering what makes this Congress a success because real soon you guys are getting, well, you're on break real soon. Soon. Uh, and then you come back for a couple months, and then we are bam into the 2020 election. You, know, you have an opportunity now to make a statement. What makes this Congress a success? What do you run on? Passing bipartisan legislation that helps American families. Democrats have traditionally been at their strongest when they're supporting middle class families. And right now, we have a tax plan that is harming families across New Jersey and across this country. We aren't investing in infrastructure, and that's it's critical to the North Jersey economy that, for example, we get the Gateway Tunnel Project, that we do things like Abby Spanberger's fighting for rural broadband to give people a fighting chance to start businesses or to get educated. We need to make sure that we are investing in things like a, a great environment, but at the same time doing so in a way that's going to support jobs and business in our economy. Ken Starr said we're about to enter a period of enormous frustration and acrimony. Last comment on the Mueller report come Thursday. It's, you know, we've got to see, Congress has to see the full unredacted report to make sure we can get to the heart of how a foreign power hacked into our democracy. We've got to get to the it's bottom of that and make sure it doesn't happen again. It's going to be a tough, tough battle to see all of it. It is. But we'll find out together come Thursday. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you, Cheryl, from New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. All right.